Good day, YouTube. Today I'm going to show you the latest release of Linux Mint uh, called 20.3. Now the uh, the actual name of it all there, the code name is called Una, U-N-A. Uh, a bit of an update from the U-M-A, but we'll just jump into those details in just a moment. Now first of all, uh, Linux Mint is actually based off Ubuntu or the, the long-term service release of Ubuntu 20.4 but I don't want to bog you guys down in details too much. Now the default desktop environment is actually an in-house built uh, desktop environment called Cinnamon there. So you've got your uh, pretty standard start menu there, nice to see, and we can even see the details of that one on the screen there. Now um, let's maybe have a look at uh, anything else here. So it does come with a good variety of apps. Most of these you can get on most distributions of Linux, so it's not something that I um, write home about too much there. We've got the file manager here as well, which is the Nemo file manager, pretty much stock and standard for any Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon based desktop environment there as well. Uh, if we were to have a look at the kernel, now the kernel is a little bit older, you can change this, but it comes with an older, more stable one out of the box which is uh, just because it's based on a long-term service release uh, of Ubuntu, which does mean you've got updates until about 2025, and in fact, security updates till about 2028 or 2030, so depends on how you wanna look at that. Now, uh, next up is uh, maybe we could have a little bit of a look at the, the RAM usage, so straight off, uh, actually, before I go any further, full disclaimer, this is actually a beta release of Linux Mint 20.3. So, uh, this uh, may not be completely optimized yet, but hey, it's a great little guide here. So, I've got two CPUs running on this virtual machine. Idly and out, nice and soundly asleep there. But uh, the RAM uh, on boot up, about 800 megabytes of RAM on boot up there. Nothing really booted up in the background, except for, of course, say the operating system and the terminal there itself with some really lightweight terminal applications. But it's, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you a really quick look and feel of it. I'll get into more videos of this uh, shortly to uh, really be sure. But um, basically, quite similar. You've got your start menu. You've got your um, icon menus there. Right click, context menu, file manager, file explorer, call it what you will, and that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.